Do you want our general director, incoming general director, to be operating with Keke? No! no. We are already serving the Nubu state. Yes. We are serving the whole southeast. This is a fight for the survival of a federal government asset. Yes. 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 The only vehicle, operational vehicle we have in FRC, that is what this man is going out with. Yes. If these vehicles are no more, what are we going to use to go to our back? What are we going to use to go to over here? Just two years ago, we were transmitting. We were transmitting 24 hours. Just two years ago, we were streaming online 24 hours. Just two years ago, our FM stations were about to be rejigged and brought back to life. We were even planning to turn on Suka Voice FM into an all Igbo station yes. that will run for 24 hours. Correct. Right. Just two years ago, we had functional toilets in this corporation. Yes, sir. Just two years ago, we had water constantly running in this corporation. Yes. Of course. Yes, of course. Just two years ago, all the offices were fully air conditioned. Yes. Just two years ago, we had a functional bathroom that if you felt uncomfortable, you could walk in and have a shower and feel refreshed yes. to come and serve the nation better. Yes. Just two years ago, reporters were being carried to events. Don't forget about our event center. Just two years ago, we had a very functional event center. Yes. Our studios were functioning. The compound was rebranded. Just two years ago, our deputy directors had official vehicles that were functioning. Yes. Just two years ago, we went on a walk around Enugu and told the citizens of Enugu that we have rebranded and we have come back to life. Just two years ago, we inaugurated the best radio station in the southeast of Nigeria, both in income and in content. Just two years ago, people were coming here to learn the secret of our success. Staff welfare was taken care of. Night allowances were being paid. Just years ago, if it was an election coming up, we would have been ready for that election with all the mobilizations done. What we are witnessing today is a rather sad episode in the history of FRC. Yes, sir. Very unfortunate. What we are witnessing today is the inaction, or should I say the deliberate action of one man, who we feel was even sent to come and ground all federal government media establishments in the southeast because there is nothing that will explain to me and make me understand that a station that was thriving just two years ago has come down on its knees today all of us are smiling but dying inside for the past two years frcn enugu has been running skeletal services this man called Pastor Enegwidio came in. When he came in, we were operating normally from 5 a.m. to 12 midnight on daily basis. What he was able to do for us as a zona director, he came in and killed FRCN. Now we shut down at 9 and then um, resumed, opened up at 6 a.m. Sometimes 6.30. Sometimes FRC and Enugu, other FM stations depends on FRC and Enugu to hook on for the network news. Now, the current uh, or immediate past or outgoing zona director, 419, 419 zona director, has left, has sidelined the southeast zone from receiving the network service from FRC and Abuja just because of his own personal interest. Staff allowances, zero. Sanitation, zero. If you go inside here, you wash all the roofs. Most of the offices are leaking. Most of the offices are covered by cobwebs. How long shall we continue this way? We are serving the whole southeast. If these vehicles are no more, what are we going to use to go to our back? What are we going to use to go to over here? Where well, we usually go to cover our news and report to the world. Then we totally cut off. The South is totally cut off. Did you please come and help us? We are helpless and we are tired. Um, we've had you. I've been very loud and clear. 
management has had you, even the DG. Well, I'm not the one to repair to say, make this speech I'm making this morning. We all know that we have a, a senior deputy director, internal audit, who unfortunately is buried. They've been running around, the burial of the wife is taking place in a week from now. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, can we observe a mid-silent for the wife? We should lead to his own I said, we have heard you loud and clear. Just yesterday when I came to the office, I entered my office, I saw a letter, probably signed by the in-house union, the NUG and Vatau, where you encapsulated all your grievances. And uh, I believe when I saw it, I sent for the two in-house union leaders. The NUG was the one that came there, uh, because the Kobe Nogo was not around then. And we took all the matters one on one. Did I not? The very first matter you people raised there was the issue of uh, what was the matter? Oppression. Oppression. No, not really oppression. You raised the issue of the environment. And I told you the challenge we are having. Right now we have about we had about eight cleaners here before now that were being paid out. And we have they are being paid out not because the corporation has the money, but because we have positive of funds. But now on that, I told you what management we have resolved to do. We have decided to increase uh, their stipend to a reasonable length and to engage attract more hands to help. Continue in this direction. So next month, definitely, we are going to have a very clean environment. We would have engaged more hands and would have motivated them by helping their salary. The other issue to raise was the issue of. Uh, uh, going off air. I told you that uh, we know that uh, the cost of diesel for now is one something, two hundred. Right now, as I speak to you, we are buying diesel at 800. And we, the management considered that when you see about from 8 o'clock in the night, we hardly get advert that pay us money. And there are no serious programs at that time. Let's cut these things as other radio stations are doing. It was a management decision. It wasn't Mr. Inevitable's unilateral decision. It was a general management. So I hold the HODs responsible for not, you know, passing the message that I think I discussed that with you. Now the issue of vehicle, the only thing about it is the approach which happened in Kosovo, where the police yesterday, when the police said that he should not have driven the vehicle with those deflated tires. It was not a mystery. He didn't act as an admin. And we all blamed him and he gave his reasons for so doing. Well, I'm not here to speak for him. But what I'm assuring you people that from henceforth, we're going to have a new beginning. I knew, it pains me so much. I knew when I joined the people here in 2008, I knew what I met on ground. By 8.30, everywhere is bubbling with life and activities. And that, is, I can assure you, is the era we're going back to. The me, the management have already taken decision. We are going to work on it. Thank you. Especially now that we are in our season. This election period, this is the time we are supposed to have come to. So it's unfortunate we are going off air, but that I think should be a thing of the past from henceforth. And I can assure you people that the jail at the TX had issues and money has been released already for Mr. James. He's here at the camp. I've been calling him from 5 a.m. this morning. I even spoke to him before he came to join me. They have coupling it. Very soon we have to fix that jail. But I can assure you also that the new management, the, the, the HOD, now we have decided that we are going to engage and get another maybe 60 kVA or 150 kVA. We can't afford to stand on one day. I think that's the problem. Mm -hmm. And we all know that at Mbodia, we hardly yeah. had light for 24 hours. They give us light for six hours. And we can't stand. The giant cannot function for 24 hours. It's not possible. That's why we're having breakage. So it is not sabotage, like some people are trying to believe. I believe it's over. You say that it's causing the giant to break. But when we have two of its station there, I think we can alternate and it yes. will help us. So please, gentlemen and ladies, brothers, I want to appeal to you. We have had your voice.